someone said money is a liquid asset. You know, you have to let it flow out and then it flows back in. It flows out and flow. And I'm like, hey. So when I let, when I spend money, when I invest money, I think I'm letting it flow out and then it's going to flow back in. And as I've found that to be the case. It's kind of miraculous when you just think I've only got this little bit. But if you let that go in, in faith and then it just like, hey, it comes back with some friends. So you're up to two properties now. And would you say that you're, you said a minute ago, once you stop telling the universe all the reasons you can't do it, then things start to happen. The universe conspires to to help yeah. you. Uh, how are you doing at that moment that you're on two properties so far? And how is your inner narrative? How is that progressing? It was definitely improving. I felt like I, okay. I knew I could be successful at short-term rentals because I've always been sort of customer service focused. And I feel like that's what's okay. important, right? People are on vacation. You, they want you to just think about what they would want, what they would need, and just have it there for them, right? And I got to the point where I could start to buy other properties. I had the um, cash. Oh, what's, I'm, I just totally forgot the word. <laughs> if not cash, then no, you know, when you have uh, equity, credit, equity, uh, sorry. Yeah. Confidence. Oh, equity. Okay. <laughs> just okay. Like, totally lost the word. <laughs> what? Yeah. I had equity in the property, so I was able to borrow against them and I had paid off my yeah. first property. And then I ended up selling that one and taking some of the money to buy another piece of property. So it's like you, you, and that was always my thought that I had never executed that you, buy a piece of property, sell it, and then you use that money to buy two properties, one to live in, one to invest, and then you sell one yes. again, keep selling one and buying two, which is what I started doing. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Excellent. And on that journey of starting to do that, uh, what kind of mistakes did you make uh, in the beginning for those first few properties? <laughs> I guess just thinking I could do everything myself still. You know, not, not wanting to hire people to help me, not wanting to ask people to help me. And that's, I'm like totally over that now. That That's a, actually a really big thing. If people are doing that, if they're just like, no, I can do it. You know, I don't need any help, whatever. Let me just tell you how liberating it is. Just to say, hey, why don't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> and to trust people. And you're basically multiplying your own abilities because you could, you can, supervise these other people who are doing the work for you. And it's just so much better, but you know, cause, and why didn't I always do that limiting beliefs, right? That scarcity mindset, yeah. there's not enough money. I don't have enough money to hire somebody, blah, 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 blah. And the funny thing about money, I heard this some somewhere, someone said money is a liquid asset. You know, you have to let it flow out and then it flows back in, it flows out and, flow, and I'm like, hey, so when I let when I spend money, when I invest money, I think I'm letting it flow out and then it's going to flow back in. And it's, I've found that to be the case. It's kind of miraculous when you just think I've only got this little bit, but if you let that go in, in faith and then it just like, Hey, it comes back with some friends. <laughs> I love that. And what I love about you the most so far, I'm just feeling this really calm, cool energy about it. Yeah. I've, I experienced that. It was hard and I've, we overcame it. You overcame it. And it's just this really cool countenance about you. I appreciate your temperament. Uh, so I wonder, where is the empire now? Uh, you started a decade ago when you were 50 uh, in a challenging place. Where, what, what is, I, I guess I'd ask two questions. Can you tell us where your business is now? And can you tell us your mindset now? You've had 10 years of practice uh, to do this. So I have sold most of my properties. I felt like it was a great okay. time. During COVID seemed like a great time to sell residential property. I mean, people were very happy to take it and I was very happy to take their money. And so that was a good thing. And I felt like it was a good time to buy commercial. So I've purchased a commercial property, which I'm turning into a co-working community. And it's been so much fun so much fun. Huh. The renovation, which was, I didn't do hardly anything myself. It's a big space, right? And at first I thought, oh, I can paint myself. I didn't need to pay somebody to paint. And I painted like one room and I thought, okay, only like 
30 rooms to go. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's not a winner. Let's try <laughs> hiring somebody. Yeah. So fixed it all up, made it really a beautiful place for people to come, a community gathering place. And it was so fun doing like the branding and the, right, all the, like, let's pick a logo and the name and all these kind of things was a lot of fun. And that's kind of where I I feel like I'm at right now is just, retirement is just a kind of thing that it doesn't, I mean, retiring is like that every morning you just do whatever the heck you want to do, right? It doesn't mean that you just play golf every day of your life, right? (laughs) 